everybody! So Sao Paulo is a huge city. It's actually the largest in the southern hemisphere. So there's tons of ways to experience this city. But in this video, I'll tell you my five reasons on why I love it here. One, nightlife and music. So you'd be missing out if you went to Brazil and didn't at least try the nightlife and dancing scene. So I came to Sao Paulo to visit my friend Joanna, and she loves this bar called Estepe. You can go to Estepe, share some beer, drink some cocktails, but then in the night, once it closes down, the whole street turns into this huge street party. There's live music, you can dance a little samba, you can again drink some more beer. It's just a great time. From what we were told, the guys playing music in the video had just met each other. They were playing popular songs, so they all knew what to do. And throughout the night, they were out rotating instruments. I loved it. And of course, there's tons of other nightlife scenes in Sao Paulo to try out. Two, the food is great. There's so many foods to try. And my pronunciation is horrible, so I won't even try. But here are some of the food that I got to try throughout my week here. of Japanese outside of Japan. So while you're here, you definitely have to try the Japanese food. Three, so hands down, Carnival is an amazing part of Sao Paulo. I'm going to do an entire video just on Carnival. So Carnival is celebrated throughout the entire country of Brazil, but Carnival in Sao Paulo tends to be a lot more diverse. So throughout the week, we went to an emo blockino, we went to a Brazilian pop blockino, we went to an American pop blockino, there's all different kinds of music, and it's just a lot of fun. Four, so I also like Sao Paulo for its political activism. So yeah, it's controversial, and maybe it's just the areas that my friend and I were going to throughout the city, but these movements are things that I care about too. You could see the Me Too movement prevalent on t-shirts with people walking around. You could see lots of LGBTQ pride, and you could even see political movements in the street art. Five, so that leads me to my final point. The street art in Sao Paulo is amazing, and it is controversial, a lot of it can be illegal, but I really think that it livens the city, it makes it beautiful, there's tons of strong female characters in the street art, there's some political movements in the street art, like I was saying before, but I think it just really gives the city character. So in conclusion, I just barely touched the surface of all of these things, and there's tons of more things that Sao Paulo has to offer. It's a huge city. And yes, it does have a stereotype of having a high crime rate. And to some extent that's true, you know, a lot of places I was going, I wouldn't take out my phone or my camera, so I don't have a ton of footage actually. But on the days when my friend had to go to work and I was exploring the city on my own, I was always safe as a solo female traveler. I was able to navigate the city pretty easily. And yeah, like all cities, some parts of the city are better than others. But overall, I would suggest checking out this city and enjoying all it has to offer. Check back next week to learn more about Sao Paulo and watch another video.